y'all i am trying so hard to get this video off before my first client gets here my camera died my microphone died but i'm not gonna stop recording because i really want to share this message so i don't even know where i left off at if there's double content if i'm here and there and zoomed in and zoomed out i apologize but i gotta get this met i i have to get this video done fam it's your girl Arisi Raquel I am the owner the lash artist the lash trainer and mentor of pop style lashes I want to share with you all some free game on five reasons why it's not too late to become a lash artist and four ways that you can stand out as a lash artist i just want to jump right into it um I have a few minutes to talk with y'all before my first client comes in today and I really need to get this message out because I am being moved to tell y'all this. So many people like will let me know I'm interested in your training course, but my cousin just took a course and then my sister's coworker just took a course and my best friend from fifth grade just became a lash artist and I don't think that I want to do it. I hate that because you always hear people saying like they know somebody who did it and that they don't want to do it anymore but what if all businesses thought like that there are there are nail salons everywhere on every strip mall there's gas stations on every corner there are bread there's like 17 different bread brands in the grocery store and you don't see any of those businesses saying like Oh, somebody else started a bread company. I'm not going to do it anymore. You got mom and pop bread bakeries popping up everywhere. Like, don't let other people stop you from doing what you're interested in. But I'm not going to rant, okay? I'm here with facts. I have five facts on why it is not too late for you in this 2020 on Beyonce's internet to start a lash business, okay? Reason number one. Only 9% of lash artists currently have over five years of experience. That means that this is a rapidly growing industry. That means that most lash artists are still beginners, are still, you know, building, are still in the beginner stages of their business only nine percent have been in the game for over five years everybody that you know that's taking a lash training or that's becoming an esthetician or a lash artist this is all so new and so growing if there was not a better time now is the time for you number two 80 percent of lash artists actually are very satisfied with the work that they do it's not a typical nine to five is not if you do it by yourself or if you work for yourself and have your own lash business and lash studio like I do you create your own hours I choose when I want to work I choose how many clients I want to take on it's very very flexible if I need to go to the doctor if I want to spend time with my boyfriend or my nieces or whatever I can do that because I make the rules I set my schedule and if you take it on if you have a nine to five if you have a part-time job if you're a student you know you can do it okay don't get discouraged by what other people are doing number three 78 percent of lash artists use some form of social media to market their brand and promote their business we're on socials right now YouTube is considered social media Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. If you're on any of those, you have the power to promote your business. Sometimes people will think, there's so many lash artists. Um, how am I going to find clients? How am I going to get people to let me do their lashes? It's not hard. It is not hard, okay? If you've taken my training course, then you know the tips that I give on how to gain clients as a beginner. If you have a social media account, you can promote a lash business. Okay, 
75% of lash artists currently make up to 50,000 a year on lash extensions alone. 50,000 a year in Texas, I think teachers make a starting salary of 52,000 a year. Now, I'm not knocking any teachers. I wanted to be a teacher my whole life. Kind of still do want to be a teacher in a, a little aspect. But anyways, there's money to be made. There are bags to get. There are coins to be got in this growing industry. Y'all, this sweater has a tag on it that is getting on my nerves. But I'm not going to rip it off because I don't want to put a hole in my sweater. <sighs> Finally... Number five reason on why it is not too late for you to become a lash artist. 37% of lash artists increase their income, increase the amount of money that they make by offering extra services if they primarily focus on classic extensions. So I'm going to combine four and five. 75% of lash artists are making 50000 a year on lash extensions alone. 37% will increase their income by adding on merchandise, by also offering eyebrow waxing or facials or nail services or selling products or it's so flexible and there's so much that you can do to increase your income as a lash artist that's not just doing lash extensions. So to sum it all up y'all, 2020 is the year of getting to the bag it's not the year of being afraid it's not the year of my cousin just became a lash artist or my sister's co-worker just became a lash artist what do you want to do let me know because i'm here with you if you're ready for this let's talk about getting you in a one-on-one -on -one training course with miss pop style lashes herself because i won't do you wrong i can guarantee that the first way to stand out is to focus on how your service is going to help people and not how you're going to sell your service focus on helping people not making the sale okay if people are interested in your lash services they're already interested. All you have to do is give them value. Make the service worth it. You know, provide um, quality lashes. And not just that, but what will your service do for your client? How is your service going to help the customer? That's what you should focus on. Not your price, not your sale, not how they're going to pay you, but why are they paying you? That should be the focus. That's really going to make you stand out. Second way to stand out is to be an expert. Get all the knowledge that you can on eyelashes, eyelash health, the eyelash extensions, um, how to maintain them, how to care for them, how our natural eyelashes grow. Um, be an expert on that. Really, really know what you're doing and why you do it and how you do it. Because when you can take that information that you know about lash extensions and teach it to your client, they're going to see you as an expert. They're going to see you as somebody who knows what they're doing. So many times I've had clients come and be like, well, I went to Amazing Lash like a couple times and you gave me so much more information on how to take care of my eyelashes or wow, when I explain the eyelash growth cycle to my clients, they're like, that makes sense. Like they trust me and they know that I want the best for their natural eyelashes. They don't think that I'm just going to slap some eyelashes on them, take their money, and run. So being an expert on what you're doing is definitely going to make you stand out. The third way to really, really stand out as an eyelash artist is to have a niche or have an ideal audience. There's nothing wrong with wanting to service a certain type of people. Now, if you become discriminatory, then yes, that is totally out of line and that that's a no-go but knowing what your target audience is who you want to work with you want to be the walmart of lashes or you want to be the target of lashes do you want to be the michael kors of lashes or do you want to be the louis vuitton of lashes there's nothing wrong with any of them it's the fact of knowing what your business stands for and who you want to service who you want to work with um You'll actually be, y'all, this, this tag on the sweater is just, it's, okay. Have a niche, have a target audience, know who you want to work with because 
when you have a niche or you you have this ideal client base then you market to them and you stand out to them and they're going to come to you before they go to something more general or something more um basic and that's not to say that everybody's basic and you're going to be so different because you just you brand yourself to who your target audience is think about some of your favorite brands and why are they your favorite brands how do they how do they market to you why do you see yourself in that brand take that idea and use it for your own business that's really going to make you stand out okay if you stuck around this long go ahead and like this video i have something very 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 special for y'all that are still here with me check the description box i will provide a free link to a pdf file that you can print that will help you find your ideal client or your ideal target i created this worksheet myself so if you're interested in that like this video subscribe to my channel check the description bar and print that out um Send me a DM on Instagram, y'all. I love when y'all send me DMs on Instagram saying that y'all found me from YouTube and you want to ask questions about something I said in the video. You can always leave a comment as well. I just really, really love when y'all DM me on Instagram. Um, but check that out. Really, I want y'all to use that. Print it out, write on it, and let me know how that works for you because i just be creating content and using it for myself and i just want to share it with my lash fam so back to the final um, way that you can stand out the final way that you can really make yourself stand out as a lash artist is to be yourself don't get caught up with trying to compete with the bigger lash artists or the lash artists really who've just been in the game longer don't compete with them don't copy them it's cool to be inspired. It's cool to see my page, my videos, my work and be inspired. That's what I'm here for. But copying and being inspired are two different things. And our clients can smell the BS a mile away. We can smell the BS a mile away. We are, are hardwired to know when people are not being genuine. So be yourself. It's going to make you stand out more than anything else will. Be your genuine self. That is all that I have for y'all. I'm so glad that I was able to record this video before my client got here. She's a fool. I haven't seen her in a while because she's been out of town, but I'm so excited. Y'all, I get so excited when some of my favorite clients are coming through. Um, let's, let's get it. 2020 is not too late for you to become a lash artist. If you're just watching this video because you don't even want to be a lash artist, whatever it is you want to do, it's not too late, okay? Let's talk. I am all for mentoring and helping and providing information that I can to help other lash artists succeed. If that means putting my younger lash artists on my shoulders so they can get to where they need to be, I'm here for it. A lot of lash artists, and it's so sad, are so stingy with information. They feel like if they share their information, then it's going to make that person a better lash artist. It's the skill. It's the personability. It's my personality that makes me stand out. It's my knowledge that makes me stand out. It's my skill that makes me stand out. I don't mind teaching and sharing my information. So if you're interested in becoming a lash artist and you are in Texas, let's talk houston texas austin dallas san antonio el paso lagrange wherever you are at let's let's get this one-on-one -on -one action going because it's not too late for you let's let's get it mm -hmm.